After the Europe made a crucial mistake with Russia, Putin keeps his nuclear high alert. Two days after Vladimir Putin launched his special operation against Ukraine on February 24, he placed his nuclear forces on high alert. Former RAF officer Andrew Brooks suggested chemicals while suggesting that he was ready to unleash nuclear weapons on anyone who would interfere with his plans. Weapons are more likely to be deployed. Brooks noted that Putin's propensity to use unconventional weapons was the result of the West's past non-intervention, leading the Russian president to believe that his actions would face no consequences. GB News presenter Alistair Stewart said, Are you afraid that Russia is using chemical weapons as a false flag operation, or do you think Johnson and others will listen to the strong response? Mr. Brooks said, I don't think it will be on chemicals. I think it will be on nuclear. I am a non-nuclear man, and the deaths are terrible. I don't think even a madman would admit that. But the chemicals used them, that's the problem. He continued. He used them in Syria, and I dare say, then we did nothing to punish him. And he learned his lesson. So yeah, I think he's holding on, but I don't think he's going to use it because he thinks he's going to win. In two, three weeks, the sheer force of what he threw at her, without thinking of his own losses, will finally shatter. At least Ukraine will lose all its ports and the economy will be ruined. Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the U.S. envoy to the United Nations, said on Friday that she was deeply concerned that Washington would call an emergency session a false flag attempt to pave the way for Russia's own use of biological or chemical weapons in Ukraine. Russia has a track record of falsely accusing other countries of violations committed by Russia itself, said Thomas Greenfield, although he provided no evidence of an imminent Russian threat at the time of the meeting. We have serious concerns that Russia may have planned to use chemical or biological agents against the Ukrainian people. The intent behind these lies seems clear and very disturbing. We believe that Russia may use chemical or biological agents for assassinations as part of a staged or false flag event or in support of tactical military operations, he said. Moscow has summoned the 15-member Security Council to a special meeting to renew allegations that Ukraine is operating biological weapons laboratories with the support of the U.S. Department of Defense. Member states used the session to accuse Russia of deliberately targeting and killing hundreds of civilians in Ukraine, describing the allegation as a lie and utter nonsense. Russia continues to refuse to target civilians, which they still refuse to call an invasion, using the term special military operation instead.